Uh, first of all, I'd like to give credit to Louisville. They did a great job in the game. They played extremely well, took care of the ball, made plays, defensively tackled well, did a great job up front. Uh, they found the inches that we didn't find, and we had some opportunities early in the game to make some plays. We didn't match them in some scoring situations, and uh, I thought a key part of the game was I really didn't, I felt when we had 14-10, I felt very good. I knew they would be emotional coming out. They played well, got two good scores, and then we were able to uh, get the drive and go down and make it 14-10. And I uh, felt very confident, you know, middle of the second quarter, weather the storm, we're right back in the game, knew it would be a heck of a football game. And then we gave, had, a, had a third and about eight or nine or something there, and they hit it. And I uh, got a big conversion, went down the score, and then we come out and had a play, had exactly what we wanted to call, and we just we went the wrong way. Just created a uh, fumble on the backfield, just stepped the wrong way, on was, it was going right, I mean, should have went right, went left, and knocked the ball out, and they got the momentum of the game, and then we could never turn it back. And then right before half, uh, then getting that two-minute drive and, and coming down. And then the second half, we never did get the momentum. They got the momentum. We could never change it. And that's why I say you, you play with fire when you let teams get ahead of you. We knew that. But we felt like we weathered it until right there in the middle. Actually, it wasn't the game the game. It was the middle of the second quarter on from when uh, they got a hold of it. So hopefully we'll learn. Got to create better habits. It's my head. It starts with me and ends with me as a head coach. You got to fix it. You look at your issues, what you got to do. Find it, correct it, and uh, we'll coach them better. And they got to play better, and we have to put them in better situations. And but they did a good job. I thought up front. I thought their front, their defense the front did a really nice job on our offensive line. And they did a good job blocking us for the most part. The quarterback's a really good player, but the receivers, backs, as I said before, they're all good players. They got a really good team, and uh, Bobby does a good job coaching. But uh, we got to keep it to one game. Now we got to look at it. We got to do a better job. Third down was another issue. With too many third and long, we have too many pressures on third down that that we didn't convert. No, because we felt the first time down, we had, we had the first possession, third play, man, we had, we had thought we had a big play. We didn't pick up a blitz on the backside. We had it accounted for. We just didn't block it. And uh, in that one, we had to, and we missed the field goal in that drive. We still came and come back and missed the field goal. Or punted, then we got the back and missed the field goal. Made a field goal. Then we got that 14-10. It was good. But, you know, you can't, you can't stop playing right there. And you got to keep fighting for those inches. And, We'll keep growing as a team. Some of our young guys got you know got to grow up in some key situations on the road. It's a very good environment and a very good team. And uh, like I said, the road was a very good football team. So we got to grow from it. Get ready. South Florida's got to have to get ready to get down there and play on the road again next week. Questions? Seems like <clears throat> with Louisville, they were just kind of like you said, were able to build momentum. What was it about the defense that you thought that kind of? Allow them to really just struggle just picking up things. We saw guys coming on late, guys kind of disagreeing with each other on assignments. I mean, what do you think of I mean, they were there to make plays. I mean, it was, we, we had as good a week of practice we felt going in, one of the best weeks of preparation, assignments, alignments, everything. You just got to take it to the field. And you got some young guys with key situations. And guys come under a block when they weren't supposed to. Or, you know, we got to, we, and fundamentally, we got to find ways to look at it. We'll look at the film and see if we can do something different and play. But just, you know, they got momentum. And then we, on offense, we could have matched and had a couple things, and we didn't do it. And then they start control. Then once they start controlling the offensive line, and then stopping the running game and keeping the balance, you know they got to us. But they did a good job. They did a good job. Coaches, when you lose a game like this, the most points Florida State's ever given up, one of the worst losses in school history. Is, is it like another loss, or do you handle it differently? Like no. you, you look at which one game, one loss. Whether you win a game or lose a game, it's one game. It's one game, one loss. Look at what you did well. Look at the things you did poorly. Correct and move on. Don't dwell on that. Did you ever think Louisville could put sixty three on you? No, I mean, I, I felt we would match and score and go right with it. But that's part of it. Hey, that's ball. And, and they did a great job. When, when we, things do get kind of out of hand like that, as a coach, what do you start looking for on the sideline? What do you look at? Guys, they're competitors. They're fighters that will stay right in the game. you got to keep coaching them and keep putting them in position and keep you know, asking them to do the right thing. You know what I mean? And that's what you got to look for. I mean, you got to keep fighting those inches. you got to find those competitors. And I don't think our guys were not trying to go out. They just they were whippers. They were beating us. And we as a coach got to do a better job of, of coaching them and getting them in better positions. It seems like you guys had a hard time with Lamar and the read option and things like that. And exactly right. And it would come off and have and had assignments for it. Just, you know, we'll look at the film. We'll look at the film. He did a good job. It's another game where we saw DeAndre take shot after shot after shot. Got pressure early and some things that I didn't think we had pressure. I thought we had solidified it down and uh, in our protections. And we got to me third and long, but early, you know, that's what, that's what I say. We had some shots and some plays. The one play that, uh, I think Travis caught the second half member for a game across about 30 yards. We had that the third play of the game and had it the same way, even maybe more open and we just didn't get the protection. And it's not anybody. I mean, guys don't, the guys don't make mistakes on purpose, guys. They ain't try to miss a block or anything. That We just got to coach them better and do better. Are you worried about DeAndre going for a game like that? No. Nah. in his career? Part of it. You're going to be the guy. you got to grow up and, and be in that. And I, but the bad thing, I mean, excuse me, the good thing, the whole first, he was in great 
Then he, then he, he had the one mistake on the fumble was on him. He went the wrong way. And he was coming off, and we knew exactly what we were going to call, and he was coming off. I mean, it was, I felt really good at that time because he was seeing things, even when they were getting the pressure. This is what they did. This is the re. I mean, he was dead on with what he was giving me back, what he was going on. We weren't protecting as well. And then he did, and he had the one little kick up there that just started the momentum when he got it. But, you know, when you're in a game where you can't uh, get behind too far, you know what I mean? You can't have those hiccups. You, you got you to try to play perfect. How, uh, Lamar, is, I think he scored 18 touchdowns now in three games. How good is he? And what He's makes a really good player. He's athletic. They're dynamic. they got good playmakers around him. they got a good system. Uh, he can run it. He can throw it. I mean, he just, he's just a really good football player and their coach well. Good. Any more questions? Uh, are there, okay. As far as the offensive line goes, are there any other solutions? That, well, I mean, you got Kareem, Rod. We got to look at what, who, who got beat, when they got beat. We will be. Uh, hopefully, we'll look and see. We'll look and see. Come to those, some of our younger guys. We've got a good group of young guys. You, you can't put them out there like that. I mean, you know, we had, that's what happened to us at the end of the game. We got some good young players, and we had a couple of give up, give up a touchdown by getting too many guys off the ball. On one of our touchdown runs at the end, you know what I'm saying? Little things like that where guys, guys are talented enough, but they're so young, they got to learn the basics to get ready and, and get on the field and take it to the field. We're not disappointed in them, it's just where they're at in their development. I know you don't want to make excuses, but you didn't have Derwin and Josh and things up, Matthew Thomas went out things up. I mean, no, it, it, no, it makes a difference, but that's ball. That's, that's, not, that's, that's not their fault. That's our fault. We got to have players to keep making plays and, and do what we got to do. I mean, that's, that's football. So you can build depth and, and develop young players. Is this the kind of loss where everything becomes under scrutiny? You start looking at every position, every. I look at every position every week. I don't, guys. I'm not panicking. We're not going to panic. We're going to look at it, get better, and move on. I mean, it's, but we do the same thing. We'll do the same things we do every week. I mean, there's no reason to panic. I mean, you got the same players, you got the same coaches. Got to go out there, and do a better job, get the right guys on the field, put them in a position to be good, and make sure we practice good and do the right things. But we look at every position every week. I scrutinize every position every week of everything. There's no gimmies and, and things that go on like that anytime. Did Logan miss the direction on the punt? Or? Yes, he did. He, he, he missed the direction on the punt. Uh, he didn't get enough hang on that. And then we got, we didn't, inside guy somehow got walled off. I don't know why. And then the second one, we had perfect contain. And then we, we had a guy contain, guy jumps in, our contain jumped inside and caused, I think, as a matter of fact, that was one scored, I think. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, I, they had two good punt returns, which we've done a great job in our, in our coverage. But we lost Matthew inside because he was one of our coverage guys. He went out. But I don't know who else. we got to look there. So we got pinned inside, and our gunner got blocked. Oh, excuse me, touchdown run, our gunner got blocked. And that can't happen. Your gunner cannot get blocked. And uh, then the other one, we had perfect contain right on the sideline, and all of a sudden the guy jumps inside and lets him have it right down the sideline, and we <laughs> cost him just, I mean, mental mistakes. And we, and we uh, that's, that's, that's us coaching. That's me as a head coach. We've got coaching coach. Coach, it almost sounds like, for lack of a better word, um, you're saying this is kind of a fluky loss because things just kind of got. No, out. I didn't say it was fluky. I said they lined up and beat us. I mean, we got to play better. I mean, we'll find out if it's fluky if we can line up and play again. I mean, we we played a good opponent, played a really good opponent on Miss. We played a good second half in both phases, and we played well last week. So, you know, we can play good football. We played a good quarter and a half here. We just we have to be more mature, okay, and not allow when things go bad. You got to minimize it. There's going to be ups and downs in the game. You got to minimize them to where you can do it, and then when it's time to match, you got to match and compete and keep coming back and create happens. I'm not saying it's fluky. It's nothing fluky about it. they line up and beat us. I mean, that's it. Now we just got to line up and come back and play football. We know we can play. It's got to matter. Go back and do it. Well, you said you looked to the sideline to see who was going to compete. What did you see? I, I mean, I didn't see guys wanting to lay down and hide. I didn't see that. But I mean, you know, physically, you got to demand from yourself and go play. And. I mean, hopefully we'll just get better. We gotta get better. What's the message after the game? Same thing, I just told him. All the little things that make a difference, all the little habits you have, all the times in practice, when I say if we hit a law and you know, we have a 10 minute span where you know just things don't go well, this guy takes a turn, this guy takes a turn. And you go look at it, there's no one guy. It just it kind of spreads. And you can't all of a sudden when you get 12 possession in a game, three guys take a, a series and have a bad mistake. That's a four that's a twenty five percent of your offense, you know what I mean, can be going, or defense or whatever it is. You, and we know that we can't play that way, and they can't accept playing that way. And we got to practice better to do that. Create those habits. And the other day, I stopped practice. Said that hey, we're starting to get in the law. We can't have that. And they picked it back up. But you got to learn not to have those things. And we got to keep educating them and coaching. And we're not going to panic. But at the same time, we're going to be held accountable as coaches and players for what we're doing and how we're coaching.
Jim, how do you reiterate to your teams uh, just control what they control? You know, yeah, right there, what I just said. That's exactly what I just said. I mean, right there, control what you can control, and you got to eliminate the clutter. You got you got to do things right as a person. You got you got school and you got ball. Right now, there ain't enough time really to work in the day to do anything else. And you, you can't eliminate the clutter and get make things a passionate and a priority to make sure we're getting all the get our rest, make sure we're getting our preparation, our film time, our practice time, and we do <laughs> things the right way. And then you just got to make sure you get back to doing that. And we have the ability to play. But at the same time, being an athlete doesn't make you a good football player. Football players study, study situations, study formation, study down distance, and, and key moments in the game, fight for inches, you know what I mean? All that stuff is, it's not cliche. That, that's what separates the good teams and the, and the other teams. You know, I mean, that was the Patriots on Monday night a couple years ago. Remember Kansas City, the end of Tom Brady, it's all demise, everything goes back. Don't panic. But at the same time, there's an urgency to correct things, and we need to fix things. There ain't no doubt. They, uh, they bottled up Dalvin pretty well. It, we didn't block anybody. I, I actually thought he ran pretty decent. And I, and I liked our scheme coming in. We had some plays. They just we just we didn't we didn't make the blocks, you know. And we had to plan to get in the ball, and then once it got out, we just we had to change you know had to change plans. But we still had I think he had 11 carries the first half. And had a couple runs that came out of there nice the first couple drives. We were mixing and running and pass and. And then when we took our shots play action, we couldn't make those plays down the field. Jimbo, as a guy who takes pride in play calling, you look on the other side on Petrino, what do you think about his play calling? Oh, very good. Hey, they worked. They worked and they executed them. They did a really good job. I mean, they hit them, they hit their plays, they protected when they had the shots down the field. And that was a big thing. We couldn't create the game. They, the, you know, big plays and turnovers are critical. The thing about it is we had the two turnovers, but that one turnover was critical in the game because it was 21 to 10 at the time. And that's the first one we've had and then the one late but uh you know they executed found those big turnovers and big plays and they were able to hit their big plays you know what i mean and uh down the field a lot of it was with runs uh but uh they like the first play we give up a 25 yard play and we got two guys right there attack should have been a two yard loss you know what i mean and but you know you, you once you get those inches going that momentum it's hard to get changed and they did a really nice job bobby's a very good football coach it's the third straight game Jackson's put up high popping numbers. What makes him Who? so difficult? Lamar Jackson, what makes him so difficult to stop? They can run and throw. And they got weapons around him. I mean, they can throw it, they can <coughs> run it, and he's athletic. And they're, and they're coached well. They're coached well. Jim, well, before you talk to the players, what were some things that you and the coaches kind of discussed? Uh, Same thing. You got to reiterate. You look at why. Look at why. What happened and why it happened. And correct it. Ain't going to change the panic now. Now is when you got to buckle down and, and become a leader and become a coach. and. and Give them to give those guys some stability around them to let them know we're going to do it right, but we're going to hold them accountable to do it right. We're going to hold ourselves accountable to make sure they're going to do it right, and that's what you do. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.